Hello and welcome to the Health Proxin channel. At Health Proxin, we provide you with tips and strategies on how to live and maintain a healthy lifestyle through proper diet and exercise. In today's video, we have a special guest who is going to show us how we can defend ourselves against colds and flus with this special turmeric tea. Turmeric has a lot of health benefits, including boosting your immune system. But before we hop over to the presentation, please remember to like, comment and share this video and also subscribe to our channel for even more healthy videos. Let us now go to the presentation. Today I'm going to show you how to make turmeric tea. Now this is perfect for the up and coming flu and cold season. Hopefully it'll help you avoid that. This will really help to hopefully boost your immune system so that you can you know, ward off all those germs and, and stay healthy. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to make it right after this. Now this recipe is very similar to my very popular golden milk recipe, which is different than this in that that one has some uh, milk alternative to it. This is much lighter, just like a regular tea, and I think you'll love it. All right, so we're gonna start with some water. We're gonna place five cups of water into a saucepan. And then I'm gonna place the water on the stove and bring it to just a boil. And while I'm doing that, we're gonna chop up the rest of our ingredients, or get them ready. We're going to start with our turmeric root. You can find this at Whole Foods. I know they carry it. And if you can't find it, you can always use ground turmeric. It's not quite as good, I don't think, but use what you have. Now, I like using the fresh because it's just better. Now, you can either slice it up or you can grate it. I like to grate it. I just leave the skin on it and we just grate it up. And you're going to grate about two inches long of it. Another tip you can try with the turmeric is to freeze this first and then grate it and it keeps it from staining as much because it's just frozen and it tends to work pretty well. Okay so next is our ginger. Instead of grating this I'm going to go ahead and show you how I would slice it up if you wanted to do the slicing method. You just want to cut this very thin. So if you wanted to slice up the turmeric you could do that as well. And you're going to use about an inch or so of the ginger. Our next ingredient that's going to go into the pot is some lemon. Now I'm using an organic lemon here and you want to peel it. I like to use just a potato peeler because it peels it very nice and thin and you don't want to get too much into the white. You see, you see how this is mostly just the peel itself and not much of the white at all. So that's what you want. You get, get the nice oils from this. It just adds a really nice flavor. Pretty good. So we're going to put all that in our pot, and then we're going to we're going to juice our lemon as well. So I'll have that ready. I'll cut it in half. So now we're going to take this over and place these ingredients into the pot of water when it's ready. Okay. So here's our water. It's almost to a boil. You don't want to boil turmeric. It, it uh, you know isn't good for the all the good properties in it, so it's almost ready to boil. I'm going to toss it all in. And that was the turmeric, the ginger, and the lemon peel. I'm going to toss in some cinnamon. In goes a few cracks of pepper. You can add as much of this as you like. It's important to have the pepper in there. That helps with the absorption of the curcumin that's in the turmeric. That really helps make it uh, absorbable and usable in your body. Now, like I said, we're not gonna boil this. We're just gonna bring it to a simmer and we're gonna let this simmer for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna turn my temperature to low and set the timer. After 10 minutes of simmering, the tea is done and I'm gonna carefully, hopefully, pour it into my strainer here into a larger glass because we wanna strain out all of the, you know, all the turmeric bits and pieces. Oopsie. Remember now, this stuff does stain. Okay. And you just want to strain it out. 
You can see I have paper towels laid down here because I want to protect my counters and whatnot. And you're going to take your lemon, the one we had peeled, right? And we're going to we're going to squeeze that fresh lemon juice right into the tea. It gives it a nice bright flavor. Now this tea will last you for about three days. I make about three days worth. And I store it in the mason jar here and in the fridge. And it's, it's great. It's easy and convenient once you've made it. And then when I go to serve it up, I pour it into a cup. Now you want to add a little bit of fat to this. That also helps with the absorption of the turmeric along with that uh, pepper. So you can use any kind of fat you want. You can use butter, you can use ghee, you can use, I'm using coconut oil. And you want about, you know, maybe just almost a teaspoon into one cup of tea. And that will quickly dissolve right into that because the tea is still hot. I add the coconut oil each time I pour a cup. I don't put it in the, in the whole batch just because the coconut oil solidifies. I like to just do it individually. When I heat up another cup, I just add a teaspoon of coconut oil to it and I add some honey, and that's it. So I like to use raw honey, so you can add as much of this as you want. So we'll just place that in there, and there's our cup of turmeric tea, our immune-boosting tea that's gonna keep you healthy. All right, here we go, let's do a taste. Mm, I love that flavor. That is really delicious. It's got that nice brightness from the lemon, you know, you can taste the turmeric a little bit. It's not that big of a deal. The cinnamon, I could even go for a little more cinnamon. I think a little bit more might be nice.